Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a battle potion in Terraria. Battle potions are going to increase your spawn rate and that's going to help you if you're ever looking for drops from certain enemies. So you're going to need deadweed for this and you're going to need some rotten chunks if you're in a corruption world or you're going to need vertebrae if you're in a crimson world. So let's just pick up some of the deadweed that we have growing here. This is our little plant farm and I would recommend putting dead weed into the plant farm so that you can get it whenever you want so you don't have to go to the crimson for it. You can still get it even if it's not fully grown like this. You just won't get any seeds and I'll be back after I kill this wyvern. You can collect the dead weed from the crimson biome itself, but I find that it doesn't spawn enough in here. So you're probably better off going and getting seeds from here earlier on in the game before you need it and then plant it and grow it yourself so that you can come later and collect it from your plants or from your plant farm. So I'm going to show you how to get yourself the vertebrae. So the enemies we're looking for vertebrae are the face monsters and the chimeras. And these guys should spawn fairly regularly and they should also provide us with what we're looking for. So this guy here is one of them. And there's one of the vertebrae. We're actually using the water candle in order to increase the spawn. So we're in the desert biome, which means there's going to be a few enemies coming in that are actually not related to the crimson biome itself. It's going to take up a little bit of the spawn, but if you are patient, you'll start to get these face monsters in. You drop a lot of vertebrae. Now, there's another thing that we want to do real quick, and that is if we put down another platform next to the water candle, we put the shadow candle down. The shadow candle is going to help spawn enemies that only spawn when we're moving. So we can stand still and know that all enemies that are possible are able to spawn right now. So we have some vertebrae here. So I'm actually going to make the battle potion right now and then go back to where we were to farm more ingredients for said battle potion. That way we can actually increase the spawn and make more of them. So now we have the water candle and we have the battle potion together along with the shadow candle. So we're going to increase our spawn rate and we're also going to not have to move in order to get all of the enemies in. Now we just sit here and we can farm. So We've actually gotten some ingredients that are for the ink shield. We have the blindfold. We have the megaphone. That's kind of cool. This technically isn't an AFK farm, by the way, just so you know, because of the enemies that can go through walls. Just be careful of that. And look how many enemies are coming in from the sides. It's brilliant. And because we have sand underneath us, there's a very low chance that enemies are going to spawn underneath us. So it's brilliant. I definitely think battle potions should be part of your potions at all times so that whenever you're farming for something, you can hit one out and then that's it. The enemies are going to start spawning way faster and you'll get your drop way faster. If you're looking for vertebrae though, I would almost say not to do it in the desert like I am doing right now because a lot of these mummies, they're not going to drop the vertebrae because they're desert enemies. And you really want to be getting stuff like the spiders and you want to be getting the flying enemies. So I'd recommend trying to in it on the surface of a real crimson biome. So we moved over a little bit and we're already getting way more enemies that drop the vertebrae. So this is a whole lot better than it was in the desert. And simply because the enemies here are naturally occurring crimson enemies and we're looking for two or three of those in order to get the vertebrae in the first place. I really need to put back on my encumbering stone so I don't keep picking up stuff I don't want. In fact I actually have the encumbering stone on and my character was still picking stuff up. It doesn't work! God damn it. Tentacle spike. Do I need that? I'll probably pick it up just in case. So yeah, make sure you make it at the potions table because if you make it the potions table, there's a chance you won't use up your ingredients. One bottle of water, one dead weed, one vertebrae, and now we have battle potions. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one and enjoy the rest of your day.